The Bible presents a fourfold picture of Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, said, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. The first picture of Jesus Christ is that of judge. It says that all of us, you and I and every human being that ever lived, will stand before the judgment seat of Christ when he assumes that place of authority and judgment. The second picture that is given of the Lord Jesus Christ is the fear of the Lord or the terror of Christ. The reason why we are to fear Him is because He is God and there is none else. He is God and there is none like Him. And that He will judge the world in righteousness one day. And so we need to fear Him. The third picture that we have of Jesus Christ in the writings of Paul is the love of Jesus. It says, For the love of Christ constrains us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead and that he died for all, that they which live should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes they have been healed. In other words, Jesus love. But that love is manifested in action, in his salvation, in his reconciliation. The only way that you and I as sinners can be reconciled to a holy God is by Jesus Christ standing between you and God, and between me and God. And why he is so important is because he is the one that is without sin. For the Apostle Paul goes on to say, For he hath made, that is, God hath made Jesus to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. So through Christ's intercession, through this transference, as it were, of sin and righteousness, our sin to Christ and the righteousness of God in Christ to us, we are uh, God is able to reconcile us through His atoning or sacrificing death on the cross. And this is the fourfold picture of Christ. He is the judge. He is a God who brings terror, the fear of the Lord. He is a God of love, for the love of Christ constrains us. And that manifested by His salvation in being the reconciler of sinners like you and I to Himself. Thank you.